Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone, and today we're doing Coke. Or, uh, more accurately, Coca-Cola. This whole set, well, it's not actually a set. I'll, uh, tighten up the bits and bobs on this tripod. There we are. Uh, it's not actually a set. I've uh, done a little bit of research, which is unusual for me and discovered that although these are Coca-Cola branded Matchbox merchandise um, they're from several years so I think the oldest one I spotted was 1998 copyright and the newest one 2000 so there is one double um, I'll open that today at least but let's have a look so this is the Coca-Cola Play Refreshed Collection 1979 Chevy Corvette and it's got a footy on the boot and who throws the ball in your game? Is it a uh, quarterback? I don't know. Defence? I don't know. The Coca-Cola ball on the bonnet and the familiar logo I brought out a few support acts, but um, not many. You can see in this one where um, 20 years in, the rubber from the rubber band has perished and given up, flicked off to the side. There is the back in all its detailed glory. Yeah, there's the Corvette. I'll put him over there. Um, where are we? Let's stick with Corvette. This is 1957. This is a bit lighter, which leads me to believe the base would be plastic. But nice detailing. Again, the uh, lucky band has perished. I don't think I'll be keeping all of these in the card on, or on the card um, because it's not a, a complete set. And I do like to look at the cars up close and personal. I'll go for another convertible, this being the 1953 Jaguar XJ120. I've got um, a few fancy schmancy matchbox ones of this already, but not in Coke. You wouldn't want to be driving around certain neighborhoods with that on your uh, license plate, would you? Anyway, nice wheels. Headlights are done. Is that Santa Claus on the bonnet? Crafted by the greatest name in diecast. I think they've got a few challenges to that title. There's back if you want to freeze frame. Um, I won't get to that one because that is the double and we'll be opening that one. Look at this beauty. 1971 Chevy Camaro Z28. One of my all-time favorite American muscle cars. Someone's driven over the whole thing. Beautiful detail on the back. Yeah, I would imagine that this is coming out of its box at some point. I'll do a separate video on a package destruction. Um, this is nice and heavy, um, but I still don't think that's a metal base. I think I have one of it, um, not Coca-Cola, but um, regular, but it has a metal base. It's really heavy. This is the 1998 Ford Expedition utility vehicle, do we call those? That's the back. I got told off for not showing the back clearly enough recently, so make sure I do that. And one of the ones I really like collecting is the Ford Transit. 1955? Ooh, that's a uh, mistake. 
Nine, ooh. Hmm. Clearly not a 1955. What would that be? 1995? I don't know. Not 55, folks. Hmm. Van full of coke. There is the back. That's quite an interesting little oversight. Hmm. Um, ah, and the other thing I noticed about this, well, the one thing I noticed, which wasn't the 1955 earlier, is uh, that wheel is touching the wheel arch. Maybe they've put it in a ditch at some point. Try those on a sugar high. Moving right along, the 1998 Chevy Camaro SS convertible. It's a beauty. I dare say this is where um, the muscle cars kind of lost their way, in my opinion. They went uh, a little bit too sleek. Maybe they invested in a wind tunnel or something and realized the coefficiency wasn't great. They should never have done that. Uh, what else to say about that one? A couple of polar bears on the root, on the bonnet. I thought that was a banana behind them, but I think it's the moon. Not bad, not bad. And similar paint job, gone from the black and the starries. And polar bears have their back to us on the bonnet of this one. It's the 1997 Chevy Corvette. Uh, just keep reminding myself of the backup cars so I don't forget all about them. Tail lights are done quite nicely. The wheels suit this one. Please frame that if you so wish. And probably the heaviest casting of the whole bunch actually uh, might be a tie. This is very heavy. This is the Ford box van. Um, detail on the back. Got one of those uh, roofs. Um, they were popular with uh, 20 year old houses or houses built 20 years ago here. You go into the theatre room or, or the um, media room of the house, um, the show home, and they'd have um, tiny little sparkly lights in the ceiling twinkling away. That's what that reminds me of. It's a little bit out of date now. But, oh, here's the back. And we'll go for that other really heavy one. This might beat it, actually. And this has gone for some roof art as well. Polar bears. Oh, this is the Chevy Transporter bus. I I have this in green. Really heavy. Although that grill looks plastic. Maybe it's just the full metal body. I believe it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... Got basketball on this one. 1996 Pontiac Firebird Ram Air. Tail lights done. Nice black interior. Not sure about the basketball on the bonnet. Indicators are done. It's going in for the big shot. On the back. Um, uh, we'll go for the last convertible. It's a 1994 Mustang Cobra. Again, tail lights are done. No license plate on this one. Different car design than some. Big old headlights. Nice wheels. And the back of the card. Um, go for the third to last is this one, the 1970 Pontiac GTO. This is a really nice one. They've done a good job. Nice big beefy car. All sides 
to look at. What's he doing? Is that soccer? Yeah, it is. There's a soccer ball on the roof. There it is, the back. Right, let's get into a couple I'm going to rip open. Um, this one first, nearly because I have a double of it. That was the first one I showed you. Now it's the second to last. Come around again. 1955 Chevy Ballier hardtop. Um, we've got. Um, can't remember what year this was. Can't see it now. You're probably looking straight at it, but let's go for a 20 year old casting. Free at last. See so what happens to these uh, funny little rubber bands. Just age. Gross. There we go. Free. All right. Oh, I'm gonna bring you down. That sounded like a threat, didn't it? <laughs> Bring you down. There we go. So you can uh, see the belly in all its glory. Look at that. The front's not so good. Maybe it's choked up with rubber bands. No, the trouble's just not there on the front. So you can load the boot up with coke. Bom, bom. What have we got on the roof? We've got a funny little cartoon kid. Strange hat. Weird here. So, plenty of detail. Got a very intricate badge on the hood, including the hood ornament. That's nice. Is it imperfection there? Hmm. Too critical. Anyway, we've got. Pause and refresh. Very familiar Coca Cola. Welcome back. Uh, the memory filled up in the camera, so who knows where that cut off. So we'll do a quick lap around this Chevy Bellier hardtop from when did we say? 1955. Just had to delete a few things off this camera. I clearly talk too much. Anyway. Let's have a look at the bottom. It's the chrome base in plastic. All funky so you can't read it. It's made in China. Not much else to discern. Yeah. Um, so the support acts. This one here, this came out roughly the same time as did this. Maybe a few years in between. But uh, get rid of the junk. And the Funnily sticky pans. There's the box. I'm not sure what you'd do with that box. I'm not sure if the, the car fits back in it. It's a strange shape. Oh yeah, okay. There we are. So that's nice. It's uh, Quite well done. Okay, so we'll put those over there. Oh, that was the, the sort of upmarket 57 Chev. And now they're a pair. No suspension on the 57, but um, they had a real good crack at this hood, didn't they? never really sits back down properly and of course back in the day you'd just treat it so meanly that it'd be ripped off fairly soon got uh, fuel on that what are we getting? oh of course we've got coke on this one so, yeah. they go well together Put those over there, and the other one I wanted to rip open was this. Um, I 
I'll just show you on the side if you want to see the details. Save me readjusting this camera. That. Yeah. Uh, this was the 1933 Ford Coupe. Left alone for 20 years. Come to my place. See what happens. Oh, these horrible little things. Come on. Might have to clean these up later. I'll get the most of it off. So we can have a decent look at it. Hmm. Here we go. Annoying little things. It's got a really nice stance. Cool wheels. Big old engine. It's got the uh, crate of coke on the door. Again, same license plate as the others. But I wanted to show you where the street rod has been and gone in Matchbox. And that's the absolute latest. So shove the in crowd over there. Actually, we'll uh, even up the table for the last shot. Mind everything whizzing past your eyes. Things hit floors. Gravity takes hold. Here we go. Yep. So that's that one. And the one I wanted to rip open anyway for a future video is this one. Uh, same casting 1933 Ford Street Rod. Did they call that the Street Rod? No, Ford Coupe. Hmm. Anyway, let's get this one open. Um, strangely, this has got the Australian flag slapped all over it. Or Australian Adventure. Apparently they did 75 cars in the Australian Adventure series. Um, not sure what the connection to this car would be, but let's open it. Okay, so clearly not premium, but it is nice nonetheless. As we cover the table in mess. So we've got that lovely swooped grill. We've got plastic non-treaded wheels on the yellow one. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, obviously much higher level attention has been paid. A little bit, no, maybe it's a little bit heavier. Maybe it's my imagination. It does have bigger wheels, but I'm not sure that would make much difference. Yeah, that's nice. Strange mark on that window. Hmm. Don't know what that is. Looks like it's on the inside. Yeah. Very happy to have both of them out of the packet today. So yeah, that was a strange little look at some of the marketing ploys Mattel has done over the years. Um, this one with Coca-Cola. They've done uh, uh, McDonald's and Disneyland and all sorts of things, haven't they? But uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So it's... See if we can get you off that dropping you. And there we are. I don't think I left anything out today. I normally figure that out three minutes after I've stopped the camera, but I think we're good today. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time. Bye.